Hello and welcome to AutoInform Online Magazine. In this edition of Frank's Toolbox, we're going to look at crimping, in particular the different types of pliers and crimping devices that should be used for correct termination of electrical connectors. So let's take a look at some of the range that we've got. And this really is by no means the entire range. There's an awful lot more. They begin with very powerful, large tools like this for battery connectors and they're all graded by cable size, correctly so. So this type of tool, it's a ratchet mechanism, so the connector goes in, ratchet up and crimp to the correct tension, that's all determined by the tool. That will be used on battery terminals. Another variation of this for these coloured standard automotive crimps, once again this works on the ratchet principle where the tension on the terminal, correctly graded, will apply the right pressure between the terminal and the cable. This is a variation on that, slightly better than that tool because this tool has a small protrusion which actually crimps the cable more securely. So I prefer this set of um, crimping pliers to the previous set. Then of course we start going down in size and the purpose of this demonstration in Toolbox is to demonstrate the connect crimping of these devices which are the PCM replacement pins which is something we tend to be doing more and more these days. So that's what we're going to focus this feature on. The cable can be stripped or terminated in several ways. Use side cutters, nice clean square edge. The traditional pliers, of course, for stripping back the insulator. And be very careful that you don't damage any of the strands of the cable. That's something really needs to be stressed. There's no damage at all to the cable. We can also go a little bit up market and trimming the cable is this particular tool uses a set of cutters or jaws and of course the cable is then held securely at the back and you can see from that process beautifully clean cut no damage whatsoever to the actual uh, cable itself this now means that the correct fitted length is achieved also we don't want the actual cable protruding too much into the connector or too little and we can now insert the cable very carefully into position. So you can see there that the amount of protrusion of the actual conduit itself is, is just so. Then we come to the next set of tools, which once again are purpose-built. So they actually fit into the section of the connector that should be terminated. You've got your strain relief connector here and the cable is fully inserted and I'm going to have to squeeze this now with both hands quite firmly because I want to achieve a very very clean secure crimp. Now that is a perfect crimp. You can see the effect of bending the terminal onto the conductor gives us a very precise solder-free connection. The final part then is simply to apply some pressure to the strain relief bush like so. That now is entirely secured and the final part of the process of course is to insert it into the socket with a healthy click and then the final part then is the second strain relief device which is built into this socket and that also goes home with a click and we now have one perfectly engineered replacement pin ready for use. An important thing with this is that it's solder free and gives us a minimal resistance across the connectivity which is very very important with the modern looms and the devices and components which we now find in the motor vehicle. And that concludes this month's Frank's Toolbox.